Good morning, umaga nang, umaga, and welcome to yet another episode of My PI Dream. Today is Saturday, and it is build day 165. Yes, build day 165 on the construction schedule out of Ville Feliz, and it is the end of the week. It is Saturday, and uh, uh, it, you see, you would not believe what it was like here 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago, it was pouring cats and dogs. The, uh, it was pounding so hard on the roof. I was like, oh, today's gonna be a wash, but it was one of those isolated clouds. But the skies, it, it, it blew away so quickly. And uh, it's, I'm hoping it stays like this the rest of the day and we have a very productive, a very, very productive day today. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get out to the job site now. Uh, I want to, I want, I want to get started today. I have a feeling today is going to be a good day on the on the on the build site. So anyway, without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Good morning, Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Lola Janet. Morning. How, how are you this morning? You doing good? Doing, I'm doing great. You, you want to know why I'm doing great? I slept in this morning. Uh, yeah, I slept until like 6.15 this morning. Really? Why? Why? Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I was up very late last night with the video editing, so uh -huh. I didn't get that, that done until like 11.30 last night. Oh. Yeah, so tired. So, uh, and I didn't even hear the alarm clock go off this morning. <laughs> I went in there and I checked and I looked at the, and it said and it said it was alarming, but there was no sound coming mm -hmm. out of here. And it's not muted. It's, I don't know, but I needed it because so, I feel really refreshed this morning. Yeah. Hey, what's your plans for today? Today, Saturday. No plans for today. I will go with my daughter and ballet. Oh, ballet! Oh, good morning, Roy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, hey. Tess. How are you today? <laughs> is, is he the teacher? So anyway, here's the deal. Uh, I was up till like around 11.30 last night editing the videos because uh, I got uh, in a little bit later than I normally do. I wasn't able to do any of the video editing out at the site yesterday. So uh, I, I, I went to bed very late and I didn't hear my alarm clock go off this morning. And that is unusual because I have the iPhone and, and I must have been so tired because that's like the first time that's ever happened and uh, so i woke up late i woke up at 6 15 and that is 6 15 is like extremely late sleeping time for me so uh, it was so late and i didn't make any coffee this morning i didn't make any breakfast so i decided to stop by my favorite lomi shop and that was dennis's lomi shop that i just had breakfast at and get a little bit of lomi get some coffee or copy as they call it here and hi uh, good morning oh <laughs> right <laughs> so anyway, uh, I had I had breakfast. I had some lomi breakfast. Uh, you saw what I had, and I had some coffee, and uh, I'm good to go now. I'm charged, and it's still early, so I have plenty of time. And these are the guys. Here's the uh, the telecom. Remember the uh, the fiber home guys that are they're, they're still working on getting our fiber over into uh, Tierra Maria. Uh, and I keep asking them over and over, are they going to get it over into phase two? Am I going to have fiber over in phase two? And they're like, yeah, you're going to have fiber over in phase two. The whole, the whole subdivision is going to have it.
So as you can see, it is a hustle and bustle of activity here this morning on the site. And it's a Saturday morning, but Saturday morning isn't any different from any other day when it comes to building a house in the Philippines. Uh, there's no slack around here. The crew works hard six days, and if they had the seventh day, they'd be working hard seven days a week. The only way you can see everything that's being done this morning, they're prepping that CR in the basement. It was cleaned out, and I think they're going to be doing the sealant uh, on the floor and the walls inside there in preparation for the tile that's going to be done probably first thing uh, next week. They're chipping everything on the floor, all the residual cement mix coating to make the floor flat uh, in the basement floor uh, to do the, the waterproofing solution uh, early next week so that we can get the tiles in there as well. You can see back here, they are working on the footers, getting the cement poured in for all the footers on the north section of the uh, fence line, which is the back of the house inside here. They're continuing to work over in the cistern, finishing up the forms for those beams. And you can see in the basement, they are putting that solution on all the wood frames for the door jams uh, to protect against termites and wood borers and, uh, and, and fungus and things like that. Uh, any type of a, mm, any type of, door jam that's going to be on the outside of the house has to have that protection on it uh, so that it will last long and because you know termites are, are a big deal here in the Philippines. Uh, you see that the on roof, the roofing, well that's not the roofing team, uh, he's actually working on uh, doing some finishing on some of the the wall that goes underneath the truss but we had the full, the full uh, roofing team and they've already started and they're active working this morning. Uh, you can also see inside the bedroom number two, uh, we just started doing the ceiling uh, hardware inside there, the tin work inside there for the drop down ceiling. Uh, so, uh, and, and there's some other folks doing some skim, skim coat as well. A beehive of activity and uh, I'm going to get the Baha'i Kubo set up right here and uh, check some emails because I wasn't able to do it last night since I was up so late and also uh, maybe check a little bit of the viewer comments and and then we'll get back to the work site. So anyway, what we're doing here is we're going to cut the, the drain down to a lower level for the uh, for the sink, for the kitchen sink. When the kitchen cabinet team came out here, uh, the, the sink that we're putting inside underneath the quartz countertop is going to sit lower. It actually connects underneath the quartz itself. And it's going to be a lower level inside there. And when they have the P uh, trap inside there and the, the plumbing that goes into the wall, they gave us a, a point of entry which is lower. It's about oh, about 12 inches lower than the uh, original um, connection that we had inside there. So they asked us to drop it down. So that's what we're doing. We're modifying it for the cabinet team.
as you can see, it is lunchtime, and everybody's uh, over moving their way, except for the roof guys. We're still kind of working out there right now, but everybody else is working over to the bunkhouse. Uh, there's some food on their uh, grill over there, and uh, they're going to have lunch, and it'll be soon that they will be doing a siesta. So uh, anyway, it's a uh, it's becoming a very productive day today. You can see everything that's going on. Uh, you didn't see I walked down into the basement and they got the waterproofing done on the entire floor of the CR right now inside there. So uh, which probably means that I don't know what what the rest of the waterproofing. I don't know if it's one layer. I don't know how many coats has to go on the floor. Uh, probably only one coat for that. And then I'm thinking uh, Monday. Monday is tile day, uh, I would say, for the CR in the basement. That'll be exciting. I told my builder today, <laughs> it's going to be so exciting when we have anything finished. It doesn't matter what. Something that has a finish on it, and it looks actually like a house. And uh, I think that will probably get started on uh, Monday. I hope, I hope that I bought enough tile to do the entire section inside there. I kind of I kinda winged it when I went through there. Because it's an odd shape. You know, it's got the stairwell. And it's kind of hard to judge, and I'm not an expert with that, but if, we, if we're missing any, I will run up and I will get the remaining pieces. If, if there's any missing at all, uh, it's, it's going to be few, and I'm thinking we might have extra because uh, I went back and I bought a couple more boxes of each one of the tiles that we needed up there. Uh, so anyway, uh, I am going over to the uh, Bahikubo, and uh, I'm going to eat some lunch, and... Uh, as long as none of the workers come over and take over my spot inside there, I'm going to take a siesta too with everybody else here. Uh, so anyway, it's lunchtime.
Well, anyway, I hope you like the, the drone footage. The, uh, the drone was struggling today. You see how much wind, if you take a look, especially at that last shot, and you see all the coconut trees bending. But I gotta tell you, uh, as drones go, this is my first drone, and it's a DJI Phantom Pro uh, 4. DJI Phantom 4 Pro, something like that. And uh, it's my first experience with a drone. And I got, I'm very impressed, even with the high winds that we had here. Of, of course, I do editing and I cut out where the, where the drone is going all over the place and, and because the wind's blowing it like crazy. But uh, for the amount of wind that we have, and it gives you wind warnings on the control panel that tells you you have high winds and you need to fly with extreme caution. Well, anyway, I want to do a couple of shout outs. I got a couple of birthday shout outs for today and it's Michael Guintu's wife. His, his wife's name is Felma and Felma, it's your birthday today on Saturday. So anyway, uh, from your husband, uh, Michael and from me, happy birthday. And I have, I have a second birthday wish and it's actually from Roger to Annie Datu and, and from me, of course, too. Uh, well, Roger didn't tell me if today's your birthday or not. Uh, he didn't give me any, any specifics on it. Uh, I don't know where you're from. Uh, or any any details but anyway uh, both Roger and I wish you Annie a happy birthday <laughs> hmm it doesn't look like my grill is gonna be done this weekend uh, let's shoot for next weekend uh, and that's okay uh, the priority is the roof and uh, starting to get tiles and finishing down in the basement speak of the basement let's go down to the basement and see what's going on down there you can't see but the floor in here has the waterproofing uh, uh, sealant all taken care of that uh, ready for m Monday maybe Monday we'll do, be doing the tiles in there You're probably saying, James, why are they not putting any of the skim coat down the center here uh, where that feature is going to be? Well, the, the center is going to have a stone coating on it. And let me show you. I'll give you an example of what I'm looking at right now, something very similar to this. Uh, take a look at this pattern right here. See this pattern of stone? Uh, you can get this stone from CW. CW has it. Uh, they're one of the authorized uh, distributors of this El Dorado. Uh, stone work that they have here. So I'm gonna see if they have this in stock. If not, if maybe they can order it. Uh, but that's one of the options that we're looking at. Uh, that is the number one uh, stone that I like so far for that feature right there. Something else you didn't see we did with today. Uh, today we did the archway for the hallway going into the uh, the bedrooms on the first on the first floor. Uh, this is this is the hallway by the laundry room. And we have the arch right there. That's new. Oh. So anyway, this is the, the top of the cistern. This is the beams, the cross beams and the outer beams that are going here. And uh, it's going to be strong. Dave, David was here. Remember, David was here yesterday. He and Rhea came and visited, and he looked at that and he said, "There's no way, there's no way that will ever cave in, even with, even if there was like one meter of soil on the top of this right here." He said, "You're not going to have any problem." He said, "It's kind of overkill, but you know what? I would rather be overkill and not have to worry." And that's why we did several of the things. Uh, that's the way my builder actually did several of the things on the house here is uh, he put a little bit more steel, a little bit more concrete, uh, but the thing is a lot of the, the house will be secure, it will be sturdy, and I won't have to worry about anything. So I, I respect him for doing that. Uh, so that's what these guys have been doing back here today. 
Um, well, I'm going to close. Uh, I, I pretty much went through everything, uh, what, what we did today in the house. So we won't do a wrap up. Uh, and then Monday is going to be a whole new day because this is the end of the week. This is Saturday. And Monday is going to be, mm, uh, we, we should see a lot of progress next week. Next week's going to be an exciting week because next week you're going to see some finishing done on this house. You are going to see some tile work go down. You're going to see some flooring go down. Uh, and I hope you're going to see the finishing of the roofing going down up to the uh, everything except for the roofing tiles. The roofing tiles won't get done uh, next week. Uh, because they have to do there's a lot of other preparation that has to be done before the roofing tiles uh, of course we have to do uh, we have to do insulation we have to do stainless steel gutters uh, we have to do mm, the the final uh, uh, securing of all the sea purlins up there uh, there's a lot more work so I would say there's about a week's worth uh, of work that has to be done before the roofing tiles on go, goes on and then um, I'm gonna say in two weeks we'll have a full roof on there uh, that's my calculation. A full roof will be done. Uh, that's my guess. Anyway, uh, so you saw everything else that was done in the house today. Uh, you, and those cool uh, 45 degree angles in bedroom number two inside there. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the painting in that room. Uh, <clears throat> maybe we'll accent those corners with uh, possibly a little bit darker shade of whatever the color is on the walls inside there uh, to give it a feature type of a look. Anyway, so I'm going to close for today. Uh, I, I'm, I'm ready for next week already, but tomorrow I'm going to be out here. I am going to take delivery of just a little bit of uh, sod. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put sod down right around this area right here. And this is in front of the Bahia Kubo, and, and And it's going to end up having to be pulled up anyway once we do uh, the excavation of the yard and drop it down to grade level things like that but I want something right now I want a little bit of a yard in my Bahi Kubo front yard area so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, tomorrow I uh, will be coming down here after the uh, house cleaning gets done around the house so uh, probably around 10 or 10 30 something like that I'll be here and I'll play with the dog take the dogs out for a walk and uh, and just I'm gonna chill tomorrow here I might even bring my swimming trunks and go over to uh, the swimming pool. I haven't been in that swimming pool over there in like in about four months. Uh, so maybe I'll treat myself. So anyway, I'm gonna close for today. I've jabbered enough. So if you enjoyed today's video, if you uh, found it informative, if you found it the least bit entertaining, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please share. And then uh, if you're not a subscriber, just click on that little My PI Dream in the bottom right hand side of your screen and uh, you will be a subscriber and you'll get notified of the latest and greatest videos that I upload. Uh, so until Monday, uh, which is going to be Bill Day, mm, I think it's going to be Bill Day 166. Let's call it Bill Day 166. So until Monday, you have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Mm -hmm.